Um, so I'm going to go over two of the most common things you may start adding to your um, to your Blackboard course, um, which are assignments and tests. So um, to do that first, I'm going to make a copy of this folder. Uh, oh no, we're in the virtual training. I can play in here. Never mind. I'm just going to play. So um, an assignment is basically going to create a link for students to direct submissions to you. So you can think of it like a Dropbox. So this can save you a lot of time over having students email you assignments directly. Um, so to create an assignment link, you are going to go to the um, anywhere in your course. If you're using our um, shell that we're in there, you could be in one of the weeks. I'm going to click on assessments and then assignment and you're going to give your assignment a name. So this might be um, reading reflection paper or something. So you're going to have your students do reflection paper on the reading that they're going to do this week. Uh, so then here you can type a few instructions. And um, in addition or alternatively, you are also able to attach either instructions or let's say you're going to have the students complete a worksheet or something like that. So you can browse your computer and I have saved um, just a worksheet example in a Word document that I'm attaching here. You can give a due date if you wish, not required. The only other thing that's required is you have to give the assignment some points. So you can make the point zero if it's just going to be anybody who wants to submit or um, but give it at least some amount of points and then click submit. Now in our March 16th through 22nd folder, I have this assignment link here and it's going to look like a little piece of graph paper with a, a ruler there. Um, so I'll show you what this looks like. Um, from the student perspective. And one thing that if you have not used the student preview before, great time to get familiar with that. When you click on student preview, that little eyeball that's up in the right hand corner, you enter your course the way the student would see it. And I'm actually going to have to exit the preview because I did not make this link available. So that's how you can test whether things are available to students or not. So if I go back into my student preview, and now if I go into my um, materials for our class folder, there is our reading reflection paper assignment. As a student, I can download any of the materials that you provide, read the instructions there. Um, so as a student, I can go in and complete the assignments, whatever that is, save it off to my, um, to my device. And then I can click um, sorry, I probably went a little fast there, but I actually, it's the students to submit, they actually will just click on the title of the assignment and that takes them into the assignment submission area. You can have students actually directly type you submissions. Uh, more commonly, they are usually going to do something offline and attach it to you. So if I had just completed that worksheet as a student, I can browse my computer, I can attach you my worksheet that I've done and I can submit it as a student. And students will get an email notification that a submission was sent. They can see what they are sending to you and they click OK. So I just did that as a student. So let's go back as a faculty and how are you going to access this and grade this for your students? So I'm going to exit out of my faculty preview, but I'm going to keep my preview data. So me as a student, all of that is saved. So now I'm back in as a faculty and I would like to grade that assignment. If I go down to my grade center and my full grade center, I will see I was in as Karen Harold preview. And when you make an assignment, a column in the grade book is automatically created with the title of that assignment. And as students start to complete the assignments, these little green exclamation points will pop up. And that means, as you can see as I hover over it, there is something for you to grade. So to grade a student assignment, you will click on the little gray arrow. You can go into their attempt. And this will allow you to preview what the student did. Take a look. 
you grade it by giving points over on this attempt section. So I think I got an eight out of 10. I can give feedback here and I can submit. And now the student will see that they got an eight out of 10. So to complete the loop, I'm gonna go back to student preview and I'm gonna show you what I see as a student, how I saw I see my grade and your comments. So students have a link called My Grades. They don't have a grade book, they have a My Grades, which are just their grades. So if I click there, there's that reading reflection paper. Oh, I see I got an eight out of 10. I see a little comment bubble and I can see feedback that's provided. So that kind of takes took us full circle um, through an assignment.